Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hatsuki, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. We are nearing episode 100 in this series, which will be special, I can tell you. Uh, but as I mentioned in a, at the end of the last one, uh, there are only a few more projects uh, that need finishing up. And as the last few were quite built heavy with the Magnificent, magnificent Dragon uh, and last time uh, trucks, cranes, more trucks over there. So I think today we will be doing something different, jumping off the cliff, landing on the bridge and then visiting uh, uh, our villages in here because for today we need something from this guy so he offers us a woodland mansion map that we will explore there it is uh, it seems to be a bit to the or I don't know how much um, to the north and to the west so I will fly out there I have 10 totems of undying and we will rate that mansion in this episode and hopefully not use up all our totems so let me fly out there and then we will have probably one single stream of uh, raiding the mansion or at least ridding the mansion of all the uh, mobs that are in there. I found a mansion but it was not the one from the map because the cartographer we got the map from was one uh, probably 1.15 so definitely before the the world change and I did reset the world several times so that also changed the location but here we have one found that one on my way back so let's have a fly around to see where the entrance is uh, if we can easily access it should be here on this side yep so then let's set up our bed here uh, set the spawn point and then mm, I also broke an elytra on the on the way so maybe I will switch I will put on the uh, the uh, chest plate just for uh, added protection uh, and then we will have blocks we will have torches um, and then we can brave this mansion and there are the first few need to light this up and I can also hear the natural inhabitants of uh, this mansion so maybe let's also uh, turn up uh, the uh, um, the light levels so that should give us a better indication of uh, what we have on here 
This one is an empty room. This one looks okay. Then there we have Kelly. That's the, the chest room. Oh! Those one hit hard. Did not kill us. We did not use our uh, our uh, uh, emerald. So yes, yeah, Kelly in here. We can deal with that. And you are gone. Uh, all these chests, they are empty. So, would be a good point to uh, collect chests here. And here we have another sapling room. Ah, uh, yep. There is another one. Gotcha. A bit risky. Uh, probably we could try to to fight them with uh, with a range attack. Okay, there are um, creepers in there. Yep. Nothing in here. See? This one is empty as well. And here we have another creeper. Yeah, or we go about our business. Had a flower room there. Yeah, let's try. Not that this worked out bad though. Let's proceed then. Okay, also two hearts damage. I see you. I think the mansion got easier um, uh, with uh, the uh, change in light level because now you um, uh, you only need to um, uh, let's also take the coal in case we need more torches uh, now you mobs can only spawn in light level one and above uh, so before it was seven and above so previously all on these uh, tiles mobs could spawn uh, all around here towards the back so you would have a lot more uh, natural mob spawning um, and now you have your occasional mob that spawned in a dark location and then of course the natural inhabitants um, that you find here and here that's the that's the way up the third floor uh, let's have the uh, other direction so we can 
finish this floor off and by the uh, sound of it here are still a few, uh, few inhabitants left up there ensure everything is lit up and there is a group of That's our first totem. Um, well, let's quickly grab a second one, and that was in total seven um, Johnnies. So that was quite the amount. Usually, if uh, it's just one or two, uh, and there is an, uh, let's deal with this one first. Then there is another Johnny back there. Okay, and then we have an okay. Axes can be tricky. We could uh, use boats. Okay, one down. That's the next totem. Let's grab another one. Maybe we should head out. Maybe that's the that's the better part. If we can leave them behind, they might despawn. Okay, grab the next totem. Um, Another totem and wings on and off we go. They are still here. Okay, maybe dealing with the bow. Works better. And there we go. OK, 
Okay, that was unfortunate. Um, we have to get back to the roof there. So get back our gear. Uh, a few ender pearls probably will not hurt. Um, golden carrot. And there is a wandering trader. And there is all our gear. So we probably we don't need the bone. Bear the sticks and throw out boats. Take one in the offhand. Um, and probably like this. Okay. So Let's go back there so we can return the uh, emergency kit uh, in here. Hopefully our deaths should have uh, solved the, uh, the issue there. What we really need to do is, uh, is, to, uh, is to kill the uh, illusioner. But we got the uh, illusioner. Maybe there is a second one. Yeah, looks like it. Ouch. There you are. Prevent the second occurrence. Let's eat the golden apple. Light this room up. Ah, down there are a few mores. A few mores. That's That's not correct language. And behind here is the the room that I am missing. Kelly, hi. Goodbye. And it's a normal spider spawner. So with the with this two wide gap here, uh, they cannot get at me. Probably 
they are all sitting at the top. There is another one. Here in the corner is another one. That should be all. Yep. This was it with the uh, mansion raid. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, was a bit something different, more adventure, uh, less planning. Uh, it was a good change also for me. So join me again next. I thought we are done with you. Apparently not. And he can see me, which is a good thing. Great. Now we are hopefully done. So Yeah, that's the that's the trading wanderer again. Um, so, as I try to say, join me next time when we will probably do a bit more building, uh, so we can finish up all the the various projects that uh, are still laying around. Uh, until then, goodbye.